LG V20 user here, and today I'm going to be talking about the HTC U19e and HTC Desire 19 Plus. So HTC has announced uh, new phones for 2019. It's kind of like uh, mid-range uh, smartphones or whatever. So there's, a, there's, a, there's a really not like flagship phones, but I guess um, I guess I'm guess I guess that you could say that there's a flagship phones for HTC, but these really don't have flagship specs, all right? So the HTC U19e is right here. Um, that's what the phone looks like. Um, so yeah, this is pretty interesting. Um, so now HTC is going at the Samsung with the E. Um, uh, burning here with HTC U19e. Uh, so the U19e is sound like the lower end version of the two phones. So yeah. Um. So the uh. The HTC U nineteen E has a six inch display. It's full HD plus at twenty one sixty by ten eighty pixels. It has an eighteen by nine screen line. It's kind of hard to tell, but does have eighteen by nine screen right there. <clears throat> um. Um. On the back of the HTC U nineteen E, it has like an iPhone layout in terms of camera design, like the iPhone ten. Um, as a uh, as, um, it's like dual cameras on back, so you have a 12 megapixel primary camera, which is like the main camera, or whatever, paired with a 20 megapixel sensor that seems to enhance portrait photos and dual tone LED flash. Uh, it does support 4K videos, of course, audio, HDR, and a variety of AI. Uh, uh, it um, it supports AI um, enhancements and stuff like that. Uh, there's a 20 megapixel camera on the front of the phone so um on the HTC U19 there's dual cameras on the front um, if you guys can see that dual cameras on front so it has a 20 megapixel camera that's like the um main sensor and shit then you have a 2 megapixel sensor that allows for iris recognition so that's pretty cool um the phone looks, um, it looks alright, you know what I'm saying? On the back kind of reminds me of the iPhone 10 a little bit in terms of like camera design and shit. Uh, you do have, you have the power button and button on the right side of the phone. It does have HTC skin on there. I don't know what they're calling it now. I don't know if they're still calling it Sense or whatever. It does have a fingerprint sensor on the back. Um. It says the Galaxy S. It says that the HTC U nineteen E is not a Galaxy. It's not a Galaxy S ten E compared to the side. The Galaxy S ten E has better specs than this. Slightly, slightly smaller screen on the S ten E, but the S ten E has better specs. Um, it's not. So the HTC U nineteen has Snapdragon seven ten processor, same processor that you guys will see on the. Pixel 3a. Uh, it has six gig of RAM, six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, which can be expand expandable via micro SD. Uh, has Android Pie, of course. It has HTC skin on top. Fingerprint sensor, like I said, 3,930 million battery. Holy fuck! And it's quick charge on there, probably quick charge 3.0 or whatever. There's a as also on the HTC U19. E, there's a built-in game assistant that can boost performance when playing games and limit distractions. So, the U19e, um, in terms of specs, it's not too bad. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not a Galaxy S10 compared to, it's, it's not a Galaxy S10 compared to, it's not, the Galaxy S10e is better than this one in terms of specs and shit. So, the spec around that on the U19, it's 6 inch display, 4 HD+, 18 by 9 um, and with Pi, 3930 million battery, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, micro SD, there's dual cameras on front and back, the rear cameras have a, uh, they have a, uh, 12 megapixel primary camera with a 20 megapixel camera that is used for portrait photos and shit like that, and has dual LED flash on back, it, um, it has 4K videos, it has, um, AI, uh, settings on this bitch um 
dual cameras on front, like I said, 20 megapixels for selfies and shit, and a 2 megapixel camera for iris recognition. So, that's pretty interesting. So, there's the uh, HTC U19E, and now we're looking at the HTC Desire 19 Plus. So, this is like the more higher end version of the two phones. So, that's the phone right there, front and back. Um, if you guys can tell, it's probably really hard to tell, so that's what I mean. It does have a teardrop notch on the HTC Desire 19 Plus, so not too bad. This is HTC's first notched phone, Desire, Desire 19 Plus. Not too bad. The, the notch is pretty good. It's not too bad. It's a teardrop notch that you guys will see on like the Moto G7 or the OnePlus 6T or whatever. Um, it has a water drop notch, um, 6.2 inch display. 15 20 by 7 20 pixels. You have a single rear, I mean a single front facing camera, which is 16 megapixels on front with face unlock. So the HTC Desire 19 Plus has face unlock, which is a win. Um, oops, come on. But uh, yeah, it has 16 megapixels on front. It has a fingerprint sensor on back, of course, like it does on the Desire on the U19. Uh, on the back of the phone, it has a triple camera on back. It has a 13 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel camera for with a wide angle lens, and the 5 megapixel camera on back. Is used with depth sensor. This fingerprint sensor on back. So this does the this the, this does have three cameras on back. Uh, 13 m m m megapixels is the main. Eight megapixels for wide, and five megapixels for depth sensing camera there. Uh, it has a um on these Desire 19. It has a MediaTek P35 Helio. Uh, this has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. As my personal card slot. Uh, so I think there is two versions of the of a, of a, there's two versions of the Desire 19. Um, you have the Desire 19 Plus with two versions. One has 4 gigs of RAM. And 64 gigabytes of storage, and another one like the uh, U U19e has six gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Both have micro SD cards. Uh, has Android Pie, of course. It has Android. Um, has HTC's uh, interface on top of Android 9. On the battery, uh, it's a bit smaller than the uh, than the U19 has 3850 milliamp battery, and it does not support fast charging. So the U19e has supports fast charging, probably quick, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. The Desire 19 Plus does not have fast charging because it has a MediaTek processor. The battery is smaller at 3850 milliamps. So in ter so in my opinion, the U the U19e is a better spec phone than the Desire 19, which is interesting. Um, you guys can purchase the. U19e Rebel June 12th in modest green and extraordinary purple, ugly fucking colors. So that this is the U19. You guys have the colors. You guys have uh, a um, a greenish color and a purplish color. I'm guessing this is purple right here, and then you have one next to it. Uh, let's see. I uh, says this one finally available in Taiwan. There's been no word of um and and national launch, so we don't know if this one will come to the US or not. Uh so the U so the U nineteen is four seventy five, holy fuck. For the U nineteen uh So they're saying that 
um, y'all all guys can get a Pixel 3a for about the same price, or a Xiaomi or a Xiaomi Mi 9 for 446 or whatever. So, um, the U19 he is the better spec phone in, um, in, term, in terms of the two phones. I thought it was all the way around, but it's not. Um, the U19, that being the Desire 19 Plus. Uh, the four gigabytes of RAM version will be 318, and the six gigabytes of RAM will be 350. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, eh, not too bad. I mean, in terms of price, not too bad. Uh, yeah, y'all as well get the the Desire 19 Plus and Star Cam Blue or Jasmine White, which they are right there, pictures in front. Um, it will be um the U19, the Desire 19 will be available in July. The U19e will be available starting June 12th. And there's no word if HTC will launch the Desire 19 Plus worldwide. There's no word, but it'll be definitely uh released in Taiwan at first, and we'll see what happens with that. So yeah, the um the U nineteen E has has better specs than the Desire nineteen. Has better specs. Considering the E it sounds like the lower end resins of the phones like, like the like a Galaxy S ten E or whatever. That's like the lower end resin of the Galaxy S ten line. But still not a bad phone. Some specs and shit. So the U nineteen E is has better specs than the Desire 19 Plus. Um, the Desire U19, the Desire 19E is way more at 475 or 461. I mean, or it's um, at 475 for the U19E, which is fucking insane because the specs are a bit better on this phone, obviously. But the Pix, but the Desire 19 Plus. Is 350 for the six gigabytes of RAM or 318 for four, for four gigs of RAM. So depending on which one, you, depending on which one you guys want, the um the U19e has a Snapdragon 710 processor like it does on the Pixel 3a and 3a XL, while the Desire 19 Plus has a MediaTek processor, which is interesting. I thought the best would have Snapdragons on it, but they don't. If you guys want to get more information about this phone, I'll put a link to phone on his website about the Desire 19 Plus in the in the U in the U19 E. If you guys want to check it out, so yeah, I mean eh, HTC. Eh. I, I mean the fans, they look alright. I mean they look alright, but uh, it's gonna be a bad look if HTC don't launch these worldwide. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a bad luck on them. Be a bad luck on them if they don't launch this one worldwide. But there's no word of a US release, so we don't know if the US will get this phone. So, if they will, um, y'all got some play import the phones to the US to get this phone's part to work. Um, if you guys were to get the if you guys were to import this phone to the US, I don't know if they will work on the US, I don't know. but yeah, man, this is the U19e. Then the Desire 19 Plus right there by HTC. Uh, they both look similar to 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 one another, but the Desire 19 has a notch. It has a wide drop notch, which isn't too bad. And this one has has no notch. The back of it looks interesting. If you, if you, um, if you guys can see that, down the star cam. Uh, I don't know what that is on the back of it, but it's interesting on the back. So, um, yeah, there you guys have it. The U19e and Desire 19 Plus has been announced by HCC. Uh, the U19 will be available tomorrow, and the, the and the Desire 19 will be available in July. Uh, there's no word on US release or nothing like that. So, uh, it's gonna be bad luck on HCC if they don't launch this one worldwide, but. What did, did, did you guys think about? What did, did you guys think about these? Uh, about these phones from HCC? Um, 
Yeah, man, the U19E has better specs than the Desire 19. Which is interesting, so. Yeah, one of them has a Snapdragon processor, one has a MediaTek processor. So, yeah, um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys are listening out a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.